Hey, what's up? This is Shadow Freak 18 here, bringing you another tutorial. This tutorial really isn't that different. It's sort of like this one on how to put it back on your video iPod. Let's go right there. It's gonna be right there, right top on your video iPod. Uh, I said before that uh, um, you could put it back on on your Vista. You could, uh, when I was doing it, you could do it perfectly. And then I don't know where people were sending me messages to tell me that they couldn't do it with their Vista. And then I don't know where I couldn't do it with my Vista. So, right now I'm going to teach you how to put a background on your video iPod using your Vista. Okay? Okay, um, if you go to this, uh, to this video, it's only for XP, okay? Well, now it's for XP, or you could do it for a fucking Vista now when I make this video. I'm going to give you these same links. If you guys don't know where it's at, go where it says About Me and click where it says More. It's going to have the iPod Wizard, iPod, uh, Image Resizer for XP, Image Resizer for Vista, uh, Firmware, and the Firmware 5.5, okay? And the person that inspired me to do this was this guy right here. Um, of course, I found this myself. I figured it out how to do it on Vista by myself. I had no help. I didn't look at no other videos. I just did this shit by myself. And yeah, this guy was telling me, he's like, none of my friends have XP. He only has Vista. So I'm just doing this for him and for other people who need it. And, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it, okay? But first of all, let me just show you guys how to do the firmware because a lot of, still a lot of people are sending me messages telling me they don't know where to get the firmware or how to download it. Okay, I have a, um, this is the firmware, the 5.0 and 5.5. I have the 5.0, My I have a video iPod, 30 gig 5.0 firmware. Just click on it, it's going to take you to this page. Click where it says, right here where it says free. And you don't have to worry about the PayPal or anything. Just worry about this. Wait till it hits zero. Okay, let's wait. Because a lot of people are still going to message me if, if I don't do this, I'm pretty sure. So just wait a while. Okay. And this might take a while. It depends on your connection or I don't know what. But... A good connection, badass laptop, Vista. And, okay, it's almost gonna hit zero. Okay, right there. Then this is gonna pop up. All this crap. You don't have to fuck around with it. Don't don't even fuck around with this shit. Okay, right here it's gonna give you a little code. Let me make this bigger. Hold on. Okay, right, it's gonna give you that code. You're gonna have to type it here, where it's just here. And it's sensitive, so it has to be all capitalized. It's 5-R-Y-O. So just click right here where it says download. And then just go to save to disk. Thank God I already have it. So we don't have to make this crap longer. And let's get started. As you can see, it's my new badass background. So it's awesome. And <laughs> click my badass background. I used to have a Photoshop. And it took me a long ass time. It was freaking hard to do. I know it doesn't come it didn't come out perfectly but still it's fucking awesome. Okay, um This is the firmware. I'm already expecting you already have the firmware and the iPod wizard cuz I'm already ha I'm gonna have the links right there, okay? So let's get started. Oh, and I should tell you this right now. Um if you have when you connect your iPod and it goes to iTunes make sure you close iTunes okay cuz then I don't know for some reason it won't work okay so okay so what you're gonna wanna do is right here iPod wizard just right click it and go where it says run as admin administrator this stupid pop up is gonna pop uh, come out and just go to allow then as always it's just gonna be this and just go right here where it says firmware it's gonna give you an updater, iPod, and firmware file. Click where it says firmware file, and then open firmware. And then just try to find your firmware. And here it is right here. Just open it, double click it, or click, just click it once, and then say, just click on the open button, let it freaking load. Mine goes by pretty fast, depends on your connection, or how fast your computer is. And yeah. 
Okay, just let it load. Okay, go where it says index right here and go to 282 if you have a 30 gig iPod video. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's gonna look orange like that, or I don't know, it should say like white line or, or in orange. It should say uh, width 320 and height 240. Okay, and then you're gonna need to find the picture, right? Okay, the links that I gave you um, for XP or Vist or whatever, um, you're gonna have to resize it to 320 to 240. 320 by 240. You could do with that, or you could go to Photoshop, I mean, Photo Bucket, and resize it right there. Okay, 320 by 240. The image should look like maybe this big, like that, just like that. Okay, uh, let's close this. Okay, let's see what's this. Let me close this. Um, go where it says where it's it? right here where it says low bitmap and try to find the picture. Right here it is, right here. Double click it, and then it's right there. When you uh, when you write it to your iPod, it's gonna look way better in this shit. Uh, it's gonna be full on your iPod. And that's it. You just all you're gonna need, and then go right here where it says write to iPod, and then just click on yes. Right here it tells you, are you sure you want to write or whatever? Just read it yourself. If you need to pause it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna just say the same crap, and then just click on yes. Uh, remember, you, you you don't need to be connected to iTunes. If you are, just close it, and that's it. Um, a little p uh, when you write to your iPod, it's gonna tell you maybe this thing with this guy wrote right here, Ichigo twenty four seventy eight. It's gonna say up. Uh, it's gonna say this. Uh, warning: According to Apple's EULA, uploading firmware to third party. Website is prohibited. Use this firmware for personal use only. Um, just click on yes. Just click on OK or where it says yes. Um, and then just eject it. Okay. Right here it's going to tell you to eject it. So just click on that. And you should have no problems. If you have any problems, leave me comments. Write to me. Do anything. And thanks. thank you for watching this video on how to put uh, back on your video iPod using Vista. Thanks for watching.